Let's get this show on the road. What's up, everybody? Filthy Decoy here from Decoy Gaming. We're coming back at you with an all-new episode of Tem Tem Tuesday. Now, I don't know if you guys were able to catch the previous live stream from last week or caught the replay on our YouTube channel, Decoy Gaming. <clears throat> uh, but we, we ran into a bit of a glitch at the end of the game last time in which we had the missing piece. Uh, we couldn't complete the seal. Well, fortunately for us, we were able to get past this glitch uh, through a little bit of tweaking and a lot of luck. So, I'm really hoping that you guys are ready to see the end of what was the main story here on Tam Tam. At least what I'm assuming is what I've been told is and uh, crazy man. I, am am I am I close at least? Am I uh, speaking yeah, the right language? This is it. Yep. This, this is, is it. it. Oh, we just man. got one last fight. And I'm I'm excited for this because then after that it's it's all the um, the add on what what came with the September first uh, update. Mm hmm. Oh man, I'm I'm super stoked to start that as well. So, without further ado, let's let's take a little look at the squad here. Let's see what we got, what we're working with. Um, I got my main starter, Tort Knight. We have one of our favorites in Duck Duck, Nagasai, Gazuma, Anatan, and Toucan Sam. And uh, you know, Crazy and I, we went back and forth a little bit just before we started up this stream, we kind of discussing. Who we want to bring into the uh, the main battle here, the final battle? Crazy man, why don't you tell the people what you're going in here with? Uh, yeah, I got a Size Munch uh, as my starter, and uh, Nidrasil, Minotaur, and then uh, my backups are Tolkien, Turok, and Calibus. Very nice. Sounds like a solid squad. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So does the job. Yeah, yeah. So, I believe with the way that we've got everything set up, we should be pretty good to, to cover all of our bases heading into this battle. Now, uh... Hopefully. I, I, I hope. I mean, obviously, you've, you've played through this before. I have not. This is my first time looking at it, and I know nothing else but the person that we're fighting against. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, I'm <clears throat> stoked. It was, a, it was a difficult fight, I remember, at, at, you know, at the time. Really? Uh, we'll see how difficult it still is. Yeah. Well, we should definitely uh, check our backpack here then, make sure that we got uh, enough, uh, you know, healing items going in here. Uh, so let's take a little look at the, the medicine category. We got some balms, balm pluses, uh, uh, one revive, uh, six full revives. So I thought those were power revives for a second. My brain was uh, not reading it correctly. <laughs> I was about to be nervous. Yeah, it looks like we got plenty of healing items. So, uh, all right. What do you say we get this thing started, Crazy? Let's go. All right. Unlock the door. <laughs> there. Behold the great works of my glorious family. Ah. <laughs> Wish her ancestors just hired a normal locksmith. Quick, get Constantaminos before he escapes again. All right, man. Take a peek through this door. The violin's hitting nice. <laughs> this is like definite evil music. Can I go through the bush? I cannot. Ooh, that was a long walk. I need to sit down for a second. All right. <laughs> Going up the tower. I like the detail. Like, you can even see him running through the little windows. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it's little details like that that really set a game apart from other things. Sure. Because they could have easily just put, like, stained glass there and panned up. You got a big ass dragon? Oh, it's a czar, huh? Oh. 
What did you do to that Tem to make him so goddamn big? Behold, the Megazazar. This is a taste of what we could be by now if those dojo masters hypocrites hadn't been holding us back since the digital revolution. Okay, so he just wants to create some some massive times, huh? Also, for whatever reason, it made you the uh, the lead off here crazy. Oh, of course it did. Yeah, was, was your character just faster than me or something? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't he get runs it. like a girl, so he must be faster. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, just like Megus are, you are a creature of my own making, only less grateful and more aggravating. You would be nothing if I hadn't tossed you, had not rescued you from that miserable little village. You would be just another dirt farmer like the rest of those pathetic Zadarians. Time to correct that mistake. Also, that does that does prove a point that like he has created his undoing. Right. Like he drowned in the lake and all that stuff. Okay, so he's got uh, two level 85s to start off with. Digital Tem and Tort and uh, Duck Duck of the zone. Huh? Um, I will use Crystal Spikes on the Duck Duck. Okay, I'm using Helicopter here. All right. So if I remember correctly, Zyobon is weak to Electric. Mm-hmm. I could definitely be uh take out pretty easily. Damn, I forgot that uh, the Psypat knows a um, melee, uh, knows melee moves. Yeah, unfortunately. I will, uh, I'm still gonna go ahead and target that Psypat, though. I want to knock him out of here. This will overexert me, though, unfortunately. Huh? Oh damn man. He chose the wrong time to pull out this time. <laughs> Get out of here, fake duck duck. Well boosting whip. I am overexerted, but I am still gonna go ahead and pull my uh, pull my tort knight. Throw out a water type here. Yeah, I'm gonna bring out uh, my Minotaur. Okay. Minotaur, Minotaur. Is he strong against the? Electric uh... and neutral. Okay. I don't have a fire type for that Brock one. Mm. Maybe I should have went with uh, Anatom instead of Tort Knight. Bye. That might have helped a little bit, but it's okay. I think we'll be all right. Oh yeah, for sure. If nothing else, I know my Tort Knight could kind of tank through him, but I definitely need to get that Volcrane out first. Yeah, I think you can take that Volcrane out in one shot with your Nijo Sai. Yeah, unfortunately, he is evasive for two turns. Ooh. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Nacho Sai on the Brocklehem. Or you know what? No, I'll use Venomous Claws on uh, Volcrane because it's low stamina usage. And I can at least uh, knock that out of there. All and then right. I'll take him out next um... turn. Um, okay. This isn't going to do much damage, but oh, who's bringing in? Uh-oh. Right, yeah. Oh. Okay, electric type. That's a problem for me. There we go. Get that out. Ouch. Ooh. Okay, all right. We're not in trouble yet. We're not in trouble yet. No. 
bring the size much back out. As soon as that fall crane's out of here, I can bring out my Nidrasil. Hmm. Yeah, I can uh, take him out now, actually, with one shot. With the... Uh, well, yeah, I'll use, actually, Nacho Scion Vol Crane. Yeah. I was debating okay, on... Yeah, that would... yeah, oh. I was debating on that, or, uh... Fuck. Well, we'll see how, uh... Nacho Scion does against Brockleham. I'm glad I didn't go with Water Blade. Maybe I should have went with Water Blade. Okay. Oh. I can now actually go ahead and... Well, if I, wait, if I pull out Heart Knight, he's just gonna immediately swap the Fall Crane. Yeah, I guess I'll pull out my Tort Knight. I can't pull out um, Nag Nagasai. Electric type will decimate him. Yeah. Gotta play it smart. Can't let Professor K take us down. Damn, man, only did a quarter damage, too. Probably gonna swap out that Ragnar. More than likely. Yeah. Let's see. I can see him switching out the Ragnar for uh, Volcrane. Right. That would be effective against both of us. So I will go with Head Ram, because that'll be more effective. You know what? I'll, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go Toxic Gas, actually. Do an area wipe on him. Or area attack. Alright. Oh, yeah. Toxic Gas should definitely be able to take him down. If I get to use it. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, shit. That did... Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Duck, 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 duck. Let's go. Uh, do you have a wind type move? That's something I didn't think about coming in. I don't. Into this. Ooh, yeah, that's a I don't. Bit of an issue. I'm gonna use a bomb on my uh, on my tort knight. Okay. Maybe I should have brought my Gazamo with me. No, because I had a Minotaur. I can revive a Minotaur um, if we need to. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking of my Gosma because he's got a wind type move. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Jesus. Well, actually. Oh, wait, no. If he pulls out fucking. Well, should I risk it? See if I can get a quick hit on one of these two with uh, my Nagasai, and then he'll probably swap out one for the Vault Crane or the uh, that electric Ragnar. knife. Yeah. Yes, at this point, yeah, we got the the best strategy we can with just using the uh, consistent area hits. Yeah. Oof. That hurts. And you're overexerted. And trap. Mm -hmm. God damn. Let's see. Uh, I will use... Beta Burst. No. So, yeah, Beta Burst. Uh, or... Next. Uh, I knew he was going to switch to the Volcrane there, or the... 
Okay, that is not what I thought he was going to switch to. Okay, alright. Well, I will use my, uh, my area type hit and hope that it's enough to take these two out. I was ready for that switch last time. <laughs> I was like, no, I won't use the water area because it's not going to be effective. Oh, it still did good damage on him. It did. It did. Unfortunately, I do have to take, uh, have to take him out of here. I will get one shot. Although, well, actually, you know what? Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, I'm overexerted. I was going to play the priority battle, and I had faith that my one move would be enough to kill him. He won't survive. I will pull out Tort Knight. Tort Knight can tank any electric type move. He locked away my heart. Ooh. Good shit. Good shit. Maybe I should have had faith in you to uh, be able to beat him <laughs> before killing my uh, Nagasai. Uh, you know what? I know that Crystal Spike has priority. Apparently, yours had more priority. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. There we go. Yeah, you went down pretty easy, actually. Although... Yeah, it, it helps being um, leveled like we are. That's true. Because I was, like, level 80s when I did it. Oh, <laughs> it really? Dude, he was so hard. <laughs> so hard. I did him so many times trying to beat him. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he did go down a little bit easier than I thought. Yeah. I thought we would get it, we would get it a couple shots. Yeah. You know, without using full revives and stuff. Yeah, I, I, dude, I was so nervous. I was like, I need all of the healing items, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I did notice that uh, his Mega Zizar has taken down quite a bit of this little castle portion here. Yeah. And uh, that's probably a little bit of a problem. Anyways, let's see. Yeah, I should have tried to Indo. Indoctrinate. Indoctrinate. How do you know that word? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We're, we're moving past it. We're moving past, what, eighth grade English? Something like that. <laughs> oh, uh, Should have tried to indoctrinate you instead of Max. That useless Max. Well, but then again, I needed a reliable pawn and Max was easier prey. That damned Ayana was too strong an influence on you. Just accept it. You lost. Kisawa is free. Delibos is down. Max has renounced you and Lady Lottie has quit. The whole archipelago has united against you. Into the trash can of history, tyrant. Maybe this is my final hour. But I will not go gently or alone. Is he gonna have Cesar eat us all now? To the down below, with Temtem -tem fighting, a tradition made for cowards and posers. This is what real power looks like. Unrelenting, raw, free, and law. Free from law, and a cord sheer will unleash. You're going down with me to oblivion. You might have won the war, but this is the last battle you must lose. Not on my watch. Andrea. Thus history repeats itself. 
Every once a few centuries, some power-hungry opportunist tries to restore the monarchy in their name. We arrive. It would seem just in time. What began with fire and crashing, with a decade of de uh, with disruption and struggle, on the barren lands of Tukuma and in the dark depths of the underneath, shall now end here in ruin and reputation. Come on, Nylon. Do you really have to give a speech, like, right now? Piss off, kid. Dude, read the room. <laughs> <laughs> we even brought the fourth arch tamer and everything. You are nothing but a thug and a warmonger dressed as a pompous sophistry, and you shall pay for your crimes. I am not the one to be brought back to the archipelago without good cause. Andrilia herself, for decades I thought you were a legend. And this is where you actually become nothing but that. Rest in peace, you pitiful relic. Poor trace of last words. Arch Tamers. Pan Solar Beam! Hold on, are they straight up using Solar Beam? Oh. With these six Toucan Sams combined, we have shot Professor into the abyss. Yeah, that's, that's neat that they brought that full circle. <laughs> Take a drink while I can. So, there are six different Toucan Sams. And I'm mm -hmm. trying to think of what the six types would be. We obviously I have the digital one. You can have, you know, rock, water, fire, electric, maybe. Did I see an electric up there? I don't know if I saw an electric up there. Um <clears throat> and to be honest, I couldn't tell you there's a crystal one. There's a crystal one. Crystal, fire, earth. Fire, earth. Uh, uh, digital. Digital. Oh, there's two more that we're missing. There's two more. Yeah, oh, there's two more. You said crystal, right? Or is that already... You already said that. Crystal, fire, earth, digital. Oh, fire, earth, digital. Is there a water one? I would assume maybe there'd be a water one. Water electric? Right. Hmm. Is there a... I'm, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Hmm. We're going to find I that out. I only have the, the two or the three. Right. Hmm. Maybe we'll... Uh... We'll have to make an episode in which we're just hunting down all of the different uh, shrines. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. Well, I wonder, maybe there, maybe there's not an electric one, but maybe there's a poison one. Uh -huh. That kind of makes sense. Could be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, that was, a, that was a fun game, though. I kind of enjoyed that. And, uh, I do like the, uh, the little post-game credits here. Where every person has like their own you know, picture made into the game. So mm -hmm. we have doing that. I like it. Sierma. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and skip to the end now. If, if it lets me. I swear I've watched B fill up four or five times now. <laughs> They're like, nope, you gotta watch it. <laughs> Apparently. They're like, hey, we know that you're streaming this right now, so we're <laughs> gonna we're gonna make everyone see the post game. Tell you what, the tune is catchy. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm legitimately stuck. Well, I want to go ahead and thank everybody for uh, coming along on this ride here. 
as we we played through the entirety of Tam Tam. It's only taken us, God, I don't even. Uh, how many weeks are in a, a year? What, fifty-two weeks in a year? Fifty-two, yeah. Yeah, it's only taken us a year to play this whole game because uh, we are <laughs> on part what fifty-three, I think now. Uh, so I want to, you know, give a special shout out to everybody that's that's hung out with us. Uh, your Kirob is, you know, commented on, on every single one of these, and I appreciate you know, all the information given towards us um, and, and just sticking out with us as we were stupid in a lot of uh, cases. <laughs> um, I want to give a special shout out to Crazy Sadistic for for joining up with us here and uh, helping us clear out this game. The, a lot of fun, actually. Much, much more fun playing a co-op than singular. Yeah, I agree. It definitely is, uh, and it was fun to play through the game again the second time. Um, yeah. Got to to see some of the stuff that I didn't see the first time because I kind of rushed through it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Oh, that was that's definitely neat because uh, there's always certain things that when you uh, watch it a second time, you you pick up on a lot of stuff. You know, I do the same thing with movies. You know, second time around, it's uh. Well, little, little details. So, but I just want to let everyone know this is not where our story ends. All right. There is more game to be played and there's more content to be made. Like uh, we're going to be putting out videos, um, you know, some tutorials on how to uh, beat some of the dojos. Uh, Crazy and I are going to make a video on each one of the shrines and uh well of course there's going to be online battles and tournaments now now it's the real fun the real competitive side is about to come out and uh hell there might even be some competitive matches between crazy and i so, <laughs> and we, we've got some ideas in store so uh definitely don't leave uh stick around and uh check out some more of this content here crazy man you got anything coming up soon you know any, any uh any final words here no, nothing planned. Okay. Yeah, well, nothing we'll... planned streaming wise or anything like that. Okay. Well, well, we'll work on that. You know, we'll see what we can do for you, and uh, see what we can get you into. Cause also, I don't know if you saw, but uh, uh, Overwatch Two has dropped today. Oh, did it? It did. So that is. Oh, the thing. nice. Yeah. So, anyways. I want to thank everybody one last time for hanging out with us here and uh, join us next week for an all new episode of uh, whatever we're doing on Temtem. <laughs> <laughs> and from uh, from our house, from me, from Frankie, thank you very much for coming and hanging out with us. Enjoy the day and we'll catch you soon. <laughs>